Hey guys, this is the video review of the Play Art Sky Raiden from based on his look from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, I gotta say right off the bat, this is a fantastic figure. I've only owned uh, this is actually my the second Play Arts that I own. The first one being the Play Art Sky Bayonetta. And I gotta say that Play Arts has come a long way since then. I mean, this, this figure is just absolutely fantastic from the details, the paintwork, the articulation. I'd say it's pretty damn near perfect, if you ask me. Um, uh, let's get this out of the way. Articulation-wise, um, he has this single-jointed head, which can only go this far. Uh, I guess depending on the, the hair, since it's not very even. Oh, with the He's got even cables here, man. That's pretty sick. His head can go this far, this far, up that high, down this low, and I, I believe it's only a single joint, and I heard you can pop the head off very easy, but I, I don't feel the need to do that. Um, his arms are on a ball hinge, so it can, just, it can go this high because this piece uh, hinders it. It's made of soft plastic, and he's got this awesome swing in his shoulders, and his his boobs move. Uh, even these little things move, which I didn't know until a few days ago. That's pretty sick. So look at that. Oh, booby flex. Oh, yeah. He's got a bicep swivel, um, single jointed elbow, which is all ratcheted, which I, which is awesome. He's got this joint on his arm, uh, his wrist joint, which is also ratcheted. That's pretty cool. He's got a torso joint, so he moves here. And his stomach is a separate piece, so it moves at the, at the waist. And these cables may look like they get in the way, but they don't, since they just slip on down in the crotch armor, so that's pretty awesome. See? They go all the way around. Well, not all the way around, but you get you get the idea. Let's get the scabbard off. His hips are also ratcheted. Oh yeah, they go that far. They go forward. They go back, and his knees are also on the ratchet joint. Oh, there you go. It's it's not as clicky, but you can feel it's ratcheted. And I heard the, the Play Arts Kainis have this awkward looking joint, but since this figure has a kneecap and he's a cyborg, so it's all robot-y inside, it looks really good. Uh, his feet are on a... they can swivel around, since they're on the same joint as the... Uh, not the same joint, a similar joint as the wrists. So they can swivel around, and they're also ratcheted, so they go that far, front and back. Then the foot actually can pivot here, in the sort of toe area. So dynamic stances, ahoy! Um, there. Let's get over to the accessories. Of course, he wouldn't be the cyborg ninja that he is without his signature high-frequency blade, which... It just looks really, it really, it looks really cool. Not much paintwork on there, but I guess, but it's not super pointy too. And it has a little bit of flex in case, uh, not super flexy, but you get the idea. He also comes with this small blade, which I had, uh, it's, I guess it's sort of a dagger. Which I had no idea he even had. And I've... There's... He doesn't even use this in the game, but it's here. Which actually stores on his scabbard or sheath. And the sheath looks fantastic. I mean, it looks like what it does in the game, even with the, the blade mode light over there, which is painted on. And it has little decals everywhere. Pretty sick. Now, the dagger actually fits into here. Which is in the game, it's just that he never uses it. So that's pretty cool, a small detail. 
then the high frequency blade can go in there. Oh, I guess I got it the wrong way. There you go. Little blade mode action. Or when you ninja run, he, he stores it in here. It also comes with three daggers. Uh, three little knives that... It looks like the knives that uh, Blade Wolf threw at him in the first boss fight. There you go. There's three of those. There's nothing really special. It's cool, I guess. Um, he comes with a little... I don't, I don't know, pockets for the knives. That's neat. As you can see, the knives can store in the pockets with no problem. There you go. And they actually clip on uh, Raiden. He never had this in the game, but it's nice that they gave him just a little detail. See, he has a hole in his hips, and a peg, and it goes in no problem. And it stays on pretty well. Look, upside down. No, no problem. That's neat. The, the HF blade scabbard also comes with a few connection arms. Uh, it, it, it comes with this piece, which is... It's not ratcheted, but it's, it's pretty tight. Uh, this peg pegs into his waist. Then you have these little arms um, that can bend around them, uh, which basically means you can position the scabbard any way you want. Let's get that in there. In the box, it actually came like this. Wait, like that. I believe in the box it came like this. Come on! Oh yeah! Oh, it's not. On the box, uh, fuck, come on. In the box, it came like this, with only one arm connected, so you can do his little EI stance, or samurai, uh, jet stream Sam style. Yes, come on. There you go. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this is terrible. So aside from his scabbard, he comes with this piece, which um, is like extension arms. Uh, this pegs into his other hip, his left hip. Then these arms are jointed, which can be positioned any way you like. Uh, I usually have it just uh, behind his back, like how he is in the game. Um, the joints I got were a little bit loose, so I put uh, a bit of tape on these ends to tighten it up. But you may be lucky and not have this problem. Let's see, there you go. Ninja mode, ninja run, or whatever. Aside from all that, Raiden comes with uh, two pairs of hands. He's got he's got these little calm open hands. He's got these little calm open hands, um, which is nicely detailed. He has a bit of decals over here, and he comes with the holding hand for the swords, the knives, and the dagger. It's pretty cool. The essentials. He also comes with some extra feet. Mm -hmm. These feet are a little more curved, see, at the ankle. Um, what this means is, oh wait, let's, let's compare it. Here's his normal foot, and here's the other foot. The purpose of that is, you know when you do his heavy strikes in the game, he puts the sword on his foot? Yeah, this figure can do that. See? So, uh, we stick it in the ankle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. 
See, his foot is holding the HF blade. Like, it's no problem. He, he comes with two of those, so you can have him, you know, wielding knives and blades on his feet. Like a super ballerina man. And his last bit of accessories is up there. The augment mode for his face. Or his visor, if you will. Or his detective mode vision. Yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to s swap it out because uh, there you go. His bangs have a peg. And this has a peg. It goes into a hole in his face. I can find it. There you go. There you go. Right in with his super badass looking visor. It's augmented reality thing, which he wears in boss fights because he's badass that way. All of beautiful Joe style. It's fantastic. Now, a problem I have with this figure is, um, I guess being a robot and all, he's sort of top heavy. Let's get these daggers out of there. And the awesome thing that Play Arts did is he comes with this little thing. Yes, he comes with a free display base, which you can articulate however way you choose. Uh, it can swivel here. It has these little holes on it, which you can put anywhere you want. If I can actually do that. There you go. There you go. That's really cool. Uh, it's jointed up here. See there, then it comes with two clips of this big one and a little one. So I guess it's. I think the the city of Squall and Cloud come with this stand too. So I guess it's universal. But at least you have the option of choosing which kind of clips you want. Pretty really. neat. You actually have to assemble the stand, but uh, it comes on a little sprue-like thing, or like when you build Gundams, but. You don't actually need tools, because it comes with this to tie in the screws with. And that's super, super neat. There you go. See? If, if this loosens up, you can just like wrench it out and uh, tighten it like a toyger. So that's the... Uh, it's not... So that is the Play Arts Kai Raiden from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, this figure is absolutely awesome. The details are fantastic, the articulation is much better than I expected it to be. Uh, it retails for about 2695 at Data Blitz, but I got this. I pre ordered this, so I got it for 200 off and I paid cash, so I got it for another 100 off. So it's pretty sick. Uh, this figure is absolutely fantastic, as I've said. I mean, his details are just all over the place. And the fact that he comes with a free stand makes him a pure winner! So, yeah, if I had to rate this figure, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Why a 9 and not a 10? Because I just wish that he could split a little more so I could recreate the whole blade catch, uh, the dagger catching pose that, you know, he did when Blade Wolf threw those knives at him when Raiden asked him the meaning of life. So, yeah. That's it. See you guys later.